My tip for working remote is that there's no such thing as over communicating with your team. You can't tell them too much about what you're doing, when you're doing it, and why it matters to your role and the team at large. My name is Matt Ragland and I work on onboarding and churn reduction at Converter. I hear a lot of advice of like dress like you're going to an office, but I found that you should dress that makes you feel like you, like you should feel comfortable. Um, the best thing about working remotely is that no one can see you <laughs> beyond here, which means that you're only dressing for yourself. I sometimes, I rarely do my makeup, um, and I feel really comfortable around my team doing that in a way that I wouldn't in an office, um, and I think that is one of the best joys. And now that's me, like for other people it might be wearing makeup or getting dressed up, but you're allowed to do that because remotely, it's just for you. I'm Nicole St. Germain. I'm on the customer success team at ConvertKit. My tip for working remote successfully is don't ignore the power of video conferencing. I'm Nubil, I'm director of success and sales at ConvertKit. My tip is never, ever, ever run out of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Haley Chamberlain and I'm on the success team at ConvertKit. My tip for working remotely is more of a caution. It's not for everybody. So if you haven't started working remotely, like consider your personality and what you like and if it's something you would really enjoy. Cause it's not for everybody and that's okay. My name's Renee and I work on the success team. I guess the best advice I could give someone working remotely is to really get to know your tools. At ConvertKit we use Slack, we use Basecamp, Zoom, just to maintain those relationships and it's been instrumental so get to know your tools and use them to connect with people one more. I'm Simona McNeil and I am the sales development rep at ConvertKit. A tip for working remotely, don't be an extrovert. But if you are an extrovert, it's super easy to work all the time when you work remotely, which is ironic because most people probably think the opposite. If you're extroverted, not getting sucked in more into the work, but really creating time for family and friends, I feel like, for me, has been a great way to restore myself and make sure I show up with uh, the ability to do my best work every day and not just like go at it 17 hours a day all the time. I'm Barrett Brooks and I'm the Director of Marketing.